Well, everyone knows how versatile a hybrid caravan can be. And this one is no exception. In this episode, we're going to run you through this little ripper and give our honest review after testing it out in Australia's harshest environments, housing five people full time for two months. It's been through four deserts, mud, water, sand. We have thrown everything we could at this little van and it's come out on top. Holy shit. Oh my God. So, we thought we'd do a walk around and a review all in one of this cute <laughs> little hybrid behind us. <laughs> yep, Vacationer's new hybrid model. We've been living out of this for just under two months now, full yep. time. We started, we've done the big desert, we've done Googs track in South Australia, the Udnadatta track, we've taken this thing over the Simpson Desert, we've done the Streslehi track, the old Streslehi track, and then finally back down to home base, which is Melbourne, where this thing is built. Well, as you can see, it's still standing and it is absolute, like, it's a weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's actually gone, like, exceeded expectations. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, we'll stop rambling on and we'll actually show you this little nugget. <laughs> yep, let's do it. All right, I'm going to start on the outside, then Elenia's going to run you through the kitchen and the inside. So we'll start at the front. DO35 hitch, Cruise Master hitch. I reckon the best hitch on the market. All your safety gear, you know what I mean? Spare tire, nine kilo gas bottle. Sitting behind all that is a toolbox. In this side is a barbecue slide. And on the driver's side of the toolbox, it's a generator slide or just an open space. A painted Duragal chassis um, sitting on Cruise Master independent suspension. Moving down, it's got your little stabiliser legs if you really want to make it stable. Gas bay in at the front for the barbecue that's going to sit in here. The little nugget has a door each side. Got your hard and then your fly screen. It's actually got midi mesh on it, this one, so that looks like that. Your little night light, that's uh, if you had too many bevies, you can you know where your van is. <coughs> Window, drop down um, table there, just like normal caravan sort of thing outlet so if you want to power out usb points now this is a fusion sound system this is fully waterproof it's all via bluetooth all you have to do is power it on and then it's all controlled by this no more little head unit that sits in the caravan <laughs> moving on so this is the brains of the operation so there's projector gear in this We'll start with what you can see with this big donkey, that's a 3000 watt inverter. And that actually is hooked up to the air con and the power points in this little nugget. So you can have air con off the batteries, off grid. Two 100 amp batteries. Righto, I'm gonna butt in because this is my section. Anyway, this is the kitchen. Right, this is the Bushman's 80 litre fridge. Have I got that right, Nick? Yes, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is awesome and it actually holds a lot of stuff and really well too. We took a lot of fresh um, fruit and veg out with us and it worked a treat. Anyway, drawers. Drawers for cutlery or whatever you want to put in there. In these, heaps of storage, pots, pans, Again, whatever you want to put in there. We got two gas burners and um, they work awesome. And a little um, sink. How simple is that? Look, I don't know this system. I don't know. I know how to operate it. I don't know all the specs of it. So I'll pass you back on to Nick. 
So this is a little monitor um, system that hooks up to the batteries and the inverter. So this is hooked up to the inverter, gives you your volts, um, how much you're using, loads, all that sort of stuff, economy mode. And then this is hooked up to the brains. So water pumps, night mode, all your loads, service battery, starter battery, your waste, and your fresh. So it just gives you everything, all your readouts pretty essentially. And then yeah, some power points, and more USB points, and a light. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this caravan has t 100 litre freshwater drinking uh, tank and then 100 litre grey tank. So on this side of the caravan, there's actually a little hot water system that hooks up to your shower in here. And this is a shower tent. So, so all you gotta do, this gas system works off a little battery. You switch the hot water on just like you would in a normal caravan and the hot water starts working. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. Power wires on this side of the van, you got your power in and then just a couple of more USB points and cigarette um, points. So on the top here, we obviously have AC and then there's three solar panels on this one. Yeah. All right, come in. Super easy to get in here and it is a queen bed, heaps of room. Actually, the five of us actually slept in here. A bit squishy, but we did it. So you've got light switches either side that does the outdoor lights and the inside lights, which is cool. All right, in the back cabinets here is all storage and we fit five people's clothing for two months in there. Here's your aircon that you can actually run off the battery, which I did a fair few times because we went into the cold, cold weather at night. Um, we've got two fans, which are awesome. We use them all the time. Um, roller blinds on each of the doors inside. So again, it just blocks out everything. All right, down this side, we've got the pull and push fan, which also has a light on it. All right, down this side, we've got two power points either side and two USB <laughs> outlets also, and two reading lights, which has been awesome. So all we did was plug our phones in overnight and put them up here. Simple, super simple. There is also a fire extinguisher here, if you ever need, and a fire alarm. These are built exactly the same as Vacation to build their big vans. So it's got the aluminium frame, the aluminium siding, um, the checker plate, all the business. Um, yeah, so they're pretty strong little nugget. And what we've put it through, mm. we can vouch for this thing. Yeah, so we may as well start talking about our review. <laughs> uh, yeah. And look, we're pretty brutal <laughs> on things, um, but we do take the roads less traveled. So I feel like we can actually give a good review on these off-road hybrids. Yeah. So inside, I was super happy. We all fit. I absolutely love how I can run the aircon off the battery system. <laughs> that was just, yeah, I don't know. That yeah. was awesome. <laughs> on, the cool, on the cooler nights out in the desert, even just to flick that on for 10, 15 minutes at a time, it's such a small space. It just drops yeah. the temperature in there heaps. It literally takes five minutes and it's warm and I had the boys in there so we were, we were fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's just super simple inside there's not nothing to go wrong. Yeah. A couple of cupboards, few lights, the air con, fire extinguisher if uh, shit really hits the fan. Um, the mattress is a normal mattress and it is super comfy. Yeah yeah I mean it's just just a great compact little little unit inside yeah. yeah like the outside everything worked on the outside as it should um do we break anything mm. yes i uh, will we won't lie we broke a foot a stabilizer oh, yeah. foot clean off the rocks just went yeah cut it straight off but the, i guess that's an easy fix and yeah <laughs> that was probably our fault yeah. <laughs> so that's the only thing we've broken on this little nuggy um in the whole two months i mean it handled corrugations it handled sand it handled the simpson desert it handled bog holes mud holes 
everything. So and it towed like a bloody dream. Yeah, didn't it? yeah, it did. It did actually for a single actual um, shorter a frame. Really yeah. towed well. Yeah, I'm stoked with it. I don't think I'm really trying to think what we would change. I don't know. Yeah, actually, a table to come out of this, but we're going to talk to Matt, who owns this, and see if he can do something. So a table would be awesome. So when you're cooking, you can just like set up the um, plates. But that's such a minor thing. Like you can have your own table there. <laughs> yeah, like we're really trying to find something. Yeah, there. <laughs> you can't really. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I I thought the space, storage, and all that was perfect yeah. for such a small little hybrid that can literally go anywhere yeah yeah literally anywhere your car's gonna go this thing will follow yeah literally water storage and all that sort of thing it's up there with caravans like 100 liters that's pretty good um yeah i don't i just don't know what more to say we're really happy with how it went yeah like actually over the moon we look before we looked at this thing going on board <laughs> like it's tiny it's compact like, is it going to be able to put up with it? <laughs> and do you know, we every time we got into the car and went on a track, we were like, holy crap, <laughs> like it handled it like a beast. Yeah, yeah, it really did. Um, yeah, I guess if you're looking for something like this, just like a compact unit that you can literally take anywhere. Um, yeah, have a look at these because they're... they're yeah, ridiculous. underrated. Underrated. Underrated and new to the market and I think they will go well. If it was just Nick and I, or like we were doing little trips with our rooftop tent and this, this would be the go. Yeah, I think this would take the cake. It would definitely take the cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so do you have anything to add? No, I don't, no, no. no. We hope you guys got something from it. Um, we are stoked. Um, we can highly recommend. Yeah. And yeah. Yep, now this is going back to vacation. If you do want to buy it, I think it is still for sale. Yeah. Um, but it's going back and we're back in our big van. Yep. Anyway, see you next one. <laughs>